Hey, what's up everybody? I'm just making a real quick video show you guys how I did my transom here for my 10 foot John boat tracker. Uh, it's pretty simple and cheap. Uh, anybody can do it. All I did was bought this 32 inch angled aluminum. This is, has about an inch and a half, about an inch and a half on each side. Then I bought myself, um, I, think, I believe it was a two foot one by six pressure treated um get yourself the hex bolts and then how i did it was i had i cut this this angled aluminum bought myself a a little handsaw it was about 4.99 at home depot cut it about the 16 inches on each side um i removed the original bolts from the wood on the transom and pre-drilled the angled aluminum put them all in locked them in with the uh with the marine sealant on this side once i had that in then i uh i drilled these bad boys in so i put one on each side on this side of the angled aluminum and on this side of the angled aluminum just to give it a little more stability a little more uh sorry not stability a little bit of more strength uh you can see i had these Put in here with the um, marine sealant. Uh, tried it on the water; it's perfect. Uh, I got my little ten-footed plane. Not too bad. Uh, the reason I had to raise it, I had to raise it about five and a half, close to six inches, so I can get this bad boy fitted properly. This is a 1969 or 1967 Johnson Seahorse, six horsepower. Move this just fine. Uh, I'm gonna be uploading more videos as I upgrade this. I'm planning to do a casting deck up front. But yeah, man, this is pretty simple. You don't need to buy yourself a $200 jack plate just to raise your outboard motor. You can do it yourself. Uh, it's not that bad. It took me about 30 minutes to get it done. It took me longer to get the pieces at Home Depot than it took me to get this together. Um, still have to seal these in, even though these are pressure treated. I'm gonna be gonna paint it with some. Uh, with um, sealing paint, make sure these don't rot out. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Simple, quick to do, easy job. Don't go out there spending two hundred dollars, especially not on a you know something for the occasional fisherman, which is what I do. All right, yeah.